Hey everyone, in today's video, we're gonna be covering five important tips when it comes down to video editing. Be sure to click on the link in the description box below to download Filmora now. So here we are in Filmora 12. We're gonna do a quick edit to this clip right here. And the first tip is to get rid of awkward pauses. This can actually interrupt the flow of the video and make your viewers less interested. The best way to do this is to take a look at the waveforms. The waveforms is the actual structure of the audio that's detected by Filmora. If we zoom in onto the timeline, you can see the waveforms of the audio. You can see the peaks and you can see the lows. The peaks right here is usually where the person starts talking. So if we start playing the footage back. Oh, we're still doing this? Um, okay. Uh, this. Do you hear how many awkward pauses there are? Simply cut them out. All you have to do is scroll over to the little canyons here and cut out those awkward pauses. And once you do that frequently, you will see how much better your video will start to flow. Tip number two, to become a very efficient video editor, continue looking at the waveforms. For example, if you're dealing with a subject or talent and they're talking and they keep flubbing their lines, this actually happens to me quite a lot when I shoot my tutorial videos, you can actually predict where the good take is going to be simply by looking at the waveforms. Once you start hearing what the person says and start hearing it and matching it to that specific waveform pattern, you can see if they continue to repeat themselves or you can see if they start a new line. For example, if I play back this clip right here, you can see that I keep repeating myself. The quality of the soft box, <clears throat> Qual again, the quality of the soft boxes is what's, again, the quality of the soft boxes is what's you can see if you take a closer look at that waveform, they look very similar as I keep repeating the same thing over and over again. So instead of just continuing to listen to the audio and wasting time, you can actually be much more efficient by just cutting out the repetitions and going to the last take because the last take is usually the good take. Tip number three, editing to the background music. As you can see here, I have some background music here in my timeline. A lot of the fitness and lifestyle videos that I shoot and even some of the commercials are edited specifically to the BPM or beats per minute of the music. You can easily just listen through the track and see where the beat hits. And what's really cool about Filmora is that you can add specific markers to the track so you can know when to make those cuts to your footage. For example, let's play this track. So if you want to make a quick edit following those beats, all you have to do is play back the track and hit the M key to set specific markers on those beats. Not gonna lie, that's a lot of fun. And you can always adjust the markers by moving them around and by double clicking on them, you can add little comments or notes and you can change the color of the marker as well and the name. Tip number four, the use of B-roll footage. B-roll footage is secondary footage that's placed over the main footage. This helps again with the flow of the video and makes it more interesting for the viewer. So it's always important to get some other sort of B-roll such as behind the scenes or you can get some royalty free stock footage. This is also a great way to hide jump cuts simply by dragging over the B-roll clip over the two main clips that happen to be split avoiding that jump cut. And tip number five adding video audio before the video actually starts. So for example, I have this B-roll shot of this film set, and instead of just having it cut immediately to the main clip of me speaking, I'm just gonna have the speaking clip start while the B-roll is still playing just for a few seconds, and then it will cut to the main clip. This is a useful editing technique, which again helps with the flow and overall interest of the video. So those are my five crucial video editing tips. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another one. Peace.